Hello friends and welcome back to another tutorial from Rongo the Bold for seven days to die. Today we are going to talk about the short metal pipe. This is a very important piece of gear that you will find in the game. Um, it serves many purposes and is one of the keys for leveraging your technology up. Uh, one of the first things that you will need to find in the game is a book titled Oh, that's a little picture of it here. It is the Forge Ahead book. So once you find this book, you can unlock a tier of, of technology through the use of a forge. We'll cover the forge more in detail later, but I will show you now how to craft a forge because it does require a short metal pipe. So first thing you'll do when you find one of these books, which are fairly common, at least they're supposed to be fairly common. Sometimes it can take days to find one, uh, but sometimes you'll be lucky and find one in your first day. So once you find a book, you right click it, you learn the recipe for forge. So where do you find, we'll come back to that. So where do you find a short metal pipe? Well, they are dropped as loot from various zombies. So you can find them just in the world, either from zombies or just in regular loot. But there is a place where you can pretty much always find a short metal pipe. And that is in an air conditioner. This one here happens to be just a place one out of creative mode. So it is empty and does not have it. But however, generally when you loot a air conditioner, you will find a pipe and you will find one or two pieces of scrap iron. So generally you'll find it like that, loot that up. That is your first short iron pipe. Now generally you'll find air conditioners next to buildings, um, on top of buildings, but generally if you find a building, there will be an air conditioner nearby. You can also find them in toilets. Toilets can be found in wasteland, usually those in these broken buildings here on the waste corner. So if you are happen to be spawning like right here, you could very carefully sneak across the river like we'll do right here. Have your crossbow at the ready for any kind of dogs. I have one bolt left, I need to fix that. So you come over here being very careful and you would look for a toilet. So right at the bat, it's a very easy place of finding those pipes. So let's run back over here because I'm afraid of dogs. We'll get back over here. We get our pickaxe out. Now you can use your stone axe. I'm just going to use a pickaxe because I want to save a little bit of time in these videos and not have to do everything really manually. But basically you would whack away at this with your stone axe until it breaks. I'll use this regular axe, make it a little quicker. Short iron pipe exactly what the doctor ordered. So why are these so important? Like I said, they are the key for making a forge. Forge looks like this. One short iron pipe and eight rocks. Go ahead and craft that up. And while it's crafting, we'll talk about some other uses for short metal pipes. They can be used to make rebar. Rebar is um, another one of the strongest upgrade paths in the game. It's reinforced concrete. So basically a, a short iron pipe turns into a rebar frame, which is basically the same as a, as a wood frame. And I'll go ahead and make one of those here in a moment. Once this forge has finished its little crafting time. So let's go ahead and place this in the world just so we can see it. Again, with these, you can left click and you can rotate them around and you can place them all different orientations. So let's just place it kind of normal-ish, right click, place that in there. Now we'll go over the forge later on on all the things you need in order to work with it. So rebar frame, that's one of the, one of the kind of, this is kind of an end game level of crafting. Uh, it's very strong, um, has multiple levels of breakdown ability. So zombies really have to hammer on it to make it uh, be damaged. So. It's basically the same eight forged, uh, eight iron pipes. We'll craft that. While that's crafting, I'm gonna go ahead and grab an iron ingot. This is something that you will, will craft later on, but for right now I wanna show you um, where you can get these short iron pipes later on when you have a forge. So 
When you have iron, you, get, you can place it in the center. It busts down to forged iron. And while that's doing, we'll go ahead and place this rebar frame in the world. Now, just like the uh, the wood frames that we used earlier, you can place it, right click, and it places. Later on, we'll talk more about building, and I'll show you about structural integrity. Um, but for now, you can basically place this, and you can pick them back up again, which is one of the benefits of using the rebar frames. They are stronger than wood um, and hold more weight for building things. All right, so we got our forged iron now. Click it again, drop it in the middle. Now you get iron pipes. So basically, one iron ingot gives you 12 short iron pipes. We'll let it craft up. So one of the other uses for iron pipes um, kind of early in the game is to make a cooking grill. So a cooking grill is just a nice collection of iron pipes all welded together. We'll craft that up. Now a short iron pipe is used on a campfire. Let's go ahead and make a campfire here just to... Again, if you, have, if you don't know the recipe, Go in here, type campfire, and it will give you the recipe. While it's doing, I'll go ahead and pick up the rocks that I accidentally dropped there. And I'll pick up some more rocks because you never know when you're going to need rocks. Okay, so we take our campfire, we'll place it on the ground, and then you hit E to use it. You can take the cooking grill and you can put it in the cookware slot. Before I showed you how you can use a one stick in the cookware spot, and here you can place any kind of meat, any kind of uh, animal meat, or you can place um, an, a can that's filled with water and it cooks it up. It's kind of a, you get charred meat. It's not very good for you. So a cooking grill allows you to do some more things. You can make ham and eggs, which is one of the best objects in the game. You can grill potatoes. You can make baked potatoes um, and a couple other things. You can make grilled venison, grilled rabbit, and grilled pork, which is better than charred as far as it doesn't hurt your hydration when you drink it. And we'll cover food in another tutorial. So now we got a nice campfire with a nice cooking grill on it. And you can also make a few other objects with the with these that are very handy. Uh, again, these are kind of more longer term kind of things um, that you can build. Uh, and that is like a rebar, I'm sorry, uh, iron bars. These make great windows. You, that is a very expensive use of iron pipes though. So let's go ahead and make a bunch of those or make one of those not a bunch of them very expensive to use and it takes a while to make we get four of them out of it. it's not too shabby okay as we can see that bars are now forged so that's good now what you can also do with these iron bars is to create um short or metal strips which are used in a variety of other recipes so go to metal strips and one of the nice things is when you make your metal strips hit craft that'll let the craft up get five metal strips out of it the nice thing is about this system when you click it and you have an object it'll tell you what other things it uses so if I have these metal strips in here it tells me that it's using what I don't need another one of these sorry uh, it's using weapon repair kits which are used for guns. Obviously guns we don't have yet. We're not going to worry about those. However, they're also used to repair uh, other objects. So for example, this pickaxe, it says repair item, metal strips. And um, we'll cover repairs more in depth later on. But anyway, metal strips are used for repairing pretty much all the metal um, objects in the game. The kind of higher tiered, second tiered weapons, uh, your um, axe, the hoe, um, pickaxe, sledgehammer, hammers, wrenches, those kind of things all repaired with these short metal strips. So as you can see, the short metal pipe is a very handy tool. Uh, there are other things. If we go in here and do short iron pipe, this kind of tells you um, all the things that are used, metal trussing, metal ladder. So a metal ladder is very much like a regular ladder, which we have not made yet. Actually, let's go ahead and make both ladders just so you can see both of them. Oh, we've got an airdrop going by. So every every day at noon in your game, you'll have an airdrop that'll come somewhat near your house. So let's go ahead and craft this ladder. Look up, see if we can spot it. We won't go for it, obviously, because that's not what we're talking about. But nope, I don't even see it. 
Who knows where it dropped that precious, precious loot. All right. So we've got our these ladders crafted. Let's go ahead and while it's, while it's happening, we're going to make a metal ladder as well. Because you can see the difference between the two ladders. Now, a metal ladder is much, much stronger than a iron uh, than a wood ladder is. So let's go ahead and go here. We'll place this on the wall. So when you're placing ladders, you can kind of see where they are. And again, you can rotate them around with the left clicking and you can do weird stuff with them. But generally, you're going to want them just on the wall. So we'll place those three on the wall. Now, when you are building your own objects, you know, you never want to place a ladder on the bottom area on an outside wall. Zombies can climb ladders, but they can't jump up and climb a ladder. So if you want to make sure you're safe, you want to leave that bottom rung out. So let's go here. We've got our metal ladders now. So we'll do the same thing. They, look, they work exactly the same way. So we'll place that there, place that there. And now, as you can see, we've got these nice ladders with nothing below them. We don't have it. But if you want to get on the ladder, you just jump up. And now you're on the ladder. And you can use the arrow keys, point up, and you can kind of climb the wall. And the metal ladder, again, is works the same, but it is much stronger. So let me off. All right. So the other thing that you can use uh, those four are metal trussing. Metal trussings are large. Um, they're kind of helpful in some ways. That you, I use them a lot on the edges of buildings as a way to block certain zombies from crawling out. They're called the spider zombies. And they also screech a lot. So you, if you heard a zombie screeching, that is a spider zombie. So we've got these great iron trussings. And the benefit of these trussings is that you can shoot a gun through them really easily. And they're very strong. So you can use them as great barriers um, to the zombie hordes. So we'll go up here and we'll place this up here on this wall. And they're just a simple object, simple box. They're very strong. You can extend them out quite a ways. So when you have a good defense, hop up here on this wall. So imagine you've got spikes landing in the bottom of your wall here and you're sitting up here with your pistol and you can just be shooting away. Now, unfortunately, um, you can't shoot through them with a crossbow because a crossbow counts as a different kind of weapon. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't shoot projectiles like a bullet, but um, you can shoot any kind of gun through these bars and you, get, uh, you can't pick them back up. That's the only problem with them. Um, but they are very strong and they are very good on the edge of buildings. All right, so this uh, is kind of a nice short tour of the glorious short metal pipe. It's one of the very first things in the game you want to find uh, to be able to repair stuff and to be able to make that precious, precious forge, which unlocks that second level of technology. So you need a forge book, a forge ahead book in order to do that. But generally, you can generally find those on the first day or so. So finding that book and then finding that short metal pipe lets you do great things. For now, it's been Wrong with the Bold helping you tutorialize with 7 Days to Die. If you liked it, click that like button, comment, and subscribe. If you've got specific comments or specific uh, things you'd like me to do a tutorial on, please let me know. I'd be happy to do it for you. And uh, for now, let your grandma know you've learned how to use a short metal pipe.